Let's get this going. Hi everyone, it's Shivani and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something I know 17 or 18 year old Shivani would have died to see or have gotten access to. So I'm excited to finally film this. I want this to be as informational and as helpful as possible. So anyone out there who is interested in working in this industry or navigating it, hopefully this is going to give you guys a holistic overview of my experience on how I broke into Bollywood. But let's get right to it. Number one, what led you to take the leap into such a risky field? I think when people continuously tell you that you can't do it, that it'll be too difficult, that it's too risky, that's what ultimately ended up motivating me even more to go down this path. No doubt taking risks in uncharted territory is scary beyond belief. There's no point in sugarcoating it. I'm a strong believer that your life is a product of the decisions and choices that you make. Whether or not I would be successful, I knew going in that the result of this risk would be impactful in some way or the other. Where should I start if I'm in the US looking for a job in Bollywood? The truth is there's not really a structured LinkedIn or job platform where you're gonna be able to just apply. A great starting point is first narrowing in on what exact role are you going for? Do you wanna be a dancer, actor, a director, a model, a TV show host? Because each route has a very, very different path. Because the industry is extremely network and connection focused, Try to find people on Instagram that aren't necessarily at the top of the game. You're not going to be able to connect with Shah Rukh Khan from day one. Find someone who is an actor but not at such a great skill or a dancer that's just starting out. Try to connect with them and then learn more about the industry. Also applying to organizations like a Miss Malini or Pink Villa or marketing agencies that work on creative projects for Bollywood films are a great way to get that structured approach in the beginning. Next one, how did you get an internship with Miss Malini? Spoken about this in a previous video which I'll link over here. I saw a Facebook post in 2014 that she was looking for interns. I applied to the company, attached a resume, two blogging samples that I just wrote up. Many times I see people that just say, I want an internship, like hire me. Why? What do you bring to the table? What value are you gonna add? Be very clear and concise. And that's the best way to land an internship anywhere. Where did you work in order to start interviewing so many famous people? I started at Miss Malini in 2014 and that was interviewing people for the blog. I wasn't necessarily in front of the camera, it was just more for the print interview. In 2015, I started interning at the Asian Variety Show and that's the first time I started interviewing stars for an actual TV show that was in front of the camera. How difficult was it to manage your time and how did you consistently put out content on your craziest of days? It was very difficult because I was juggling so many different roles as a TV show host, as a model, as an actor, as a content creator and no matter how busy busy my day was, I always wanted to make sure I was consistently sharing the real behind the scenes of my journey in Bollywood and I really wanted to show you guys that journey and the process on social media for you all to follow along in that very moment. And in 2018, actually, I came across this app called Later, and I'm going to integrate what that platform looks like here because I still use it today. And I use that as a tool to help me schedule all of my Instagram posts, write in the captions, add the hashtags, and now being able to have a team, they're able to go in and also kind of help facilitate that management and make sure that, you know, these videos and my captions and pieces are coming to you guys on time, even though like sometimes I still suck at like uploading content, but I reached out to the brand and they graciously gave my online community a free upgrade for one month to their growth plan so I would definitely check out the company because so many of us start out social media kind of as a side hustle and we don't really know where it's going but to really see that growth you kind of have to be on top of it and later was definitely a tool that helped me can you share how you felt during your first interview? Oh, that was, yeah, 2014 for Miss Malini. I was so nervous. It was for Ritesh Deshmukh. I was shooting at Ekta Kapoor's home and it was for this film called Ek Villain. I remember going into her home, all these press people gathered around in her family room, living room area. I was the youngest person there. I didn't really know who I could speak to, who I talked to, so I sat on my phone. I remember feeling excited because there were tons and tons of free food and I was like, this is nice. I met Ritesh. The interview was pretty good. But it was just me and him in a room and I just remember feeling very jittery. Oh my god, he's right there. I don't think I was starstruck by him. The aura that many Bollywood actors have, it can get to for sure. The next one. Three tips on being an interview in Bollywood. 
articulate clearly what you're trying to say, smile, and bring a warm energy into that room. That's what ultimately eases an actor or actress to just feel more comfortable around with you. And three, it's easier said than done, but try to have a conversation with them. You know, try to keep it like flowy. Next one, what was the most impactful interview you had? There have definitely been a few. There was one I did with Tapsi Pannu. She is just so dynamic, so intelligent, very honest about her experiences in Bollywood. She's unfiltered. I really enjoyed interviewing her. And another person I really enjoyed getting to know and I was pleasantly surprised was interviewing Sunny Leone. She's just such a badass, so funny and she's so, this is who I am, take it or leave it. I loved her spirit. I wasn't expecting to have such a fun conversation with her before, during and after the interview. Would you consider anyone from the industry to be a friend? I definitely have a few friends that are television actors or musicians or content creators, dancers, specifically in Bollywood. I wouldn't consider anyone to be, yeah, we're best buddies. But yeah, there are definitely a few people that like follow me on Instagram. So I guess we're online social media friends. I don't know. How did you perceive the industry before joining and how do you perceive it now? I definitely glamorized everything about Bollywood. I thought it would be bigger than life, like sadis are flowing, you know, all that jazz. Pretty quickly, that bubble gets burst and you realize it's a very confusing, connection-based, hierarchical industry that's not as pretty as it seems, right? And there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that happens. At the same time, I also became a lot more empathetic towards celebrities. You just think that every single celebrity just is living this glorious life. When you get to see them on set and you interact with them and you see them, they're like, oh my god like they're real human beings you just see bollywood through a different lens when you're actually working there and you're seeing in and out what it takes to get to a certain level did you ever feel unwelcome very few people that made an effort to actually get to know me to invite me to a party to just hang but I get it, like I'm not salty about it. People already have their groups made. It can be very clicky. And ultimately over time, I was able to find a genuine group of friends. Does fame have drawbacks? Was it tough to cope with the sudden change? Is, is this question referring to me having fame? I think it's about me. Okay, well, I'm not famous, y'all know that. I, I will say this though, the more you grow on social media and the more people like, see what you're doing day in and day out, people's perceptions about you change uh, for the better or for the worse. Ultimately, I don't think I pay much heedance to it on a day-to-day -day basis. Did you ever feel like giving up? Give up? Yeah, there were definitely a few times where an interview has gone terribly wrong or a casting director has said something really mean about an audition or you read a statement of something you've said online that's been totally taken out of context and you're like, well, shit, like these are all the signs that I'm not supposed to be in this industry. Yeah, you just have to get up and show up the next day once you get it together. Did you ever turn down a shooter opportunity and why? Oh yeah, there was a fair and lovely ad which had a stellar budget, but there was no way in hell I was gonna be associated with such a brand, so I had to say no to that. There were a few movie offers, but they had kissing scenes and that was something I just wasn't comfortable with or a modeling shoe that required me to like wear like clothes that I just wasn't as comfortable in. I think I had a very clear boundary of what I personally felt comfortable doing and there's no right or wrong. That definitely meant that there are certain opportunities that just wouldn't have worked out. How did you get contacts for casting directors and how did you get to know about auditions taking place? Basically by going to Aramnagar, this place where all these auditions take place in Mumbai, walking into different casting calls and just being like, I was called to be here. At least if the casting director wouldn't give me their contact information, I would just talk to the assistants and be like, can I at least get your number and can I put my name down and maybe in the future, if I'm a fit for a future requirement, it'll work in then. So that's how I would recommend getting information from casting directors. What was it like being on set? So freaking dreamy, oh my God. There is something magical about when you walk onto a set and you see like all these production people and the lights and this, it's a very cool feeling. How did you feel about getting the opportunity to be in Dil Bechara? So guys, I actually have not watched the movie. I'm in it for a hot two seconds. The experience was definitely very surreal very bittersweet given everything that's happened still kind of just like a, i can't believe that moment actually happened but when i do watch the film i will definitely film my reaction and do another video about what that entire movie process was like
And last one, what led you to decide to leave the industry? The clarity of what my vision for happiness and success looked like is what ultimately led me to leaving the industry and moving back to the US. And that will be the topic of my next video. So, you know, see more of these. You should totally, you know, like and subscribe and do that thing and send it to your friends and be like, you should go into Bollywood too. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are thinking at all about going Going into Bollywood and want to know more why don't you guys drop down more questions and I'll do more specific videos on each of those topics have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world I will talk to you guys soon bye